We are in the Lazy E Arena here in Guthrie, Oklahoma for the ABA UCI North American Continental Series. The best BMX racers have descended on this Midwestern town and it is going to be a battle all day. Bars will be banging, so don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining us here. It's the ABA UCI North American Continental Series. I'm Kenan Harkin, joined by former professional racer Craig Reynolds. Now, Craig, we've got some serious weight out here in this field. Lots of Olympic talent. Kenan, we start things off with the bronze medalist Donnie Robinson, the smallest of the elite men, but I promise you, no one works harder. From Argentina, we've got Christian Bessarine. This guy probably has the fastest first straightaway in all of BMX. And we can't leave out Mike Day, the silver medalist, probably the most track speed, but I'm telling you right now, everyone is gunning for this guy. Everyone thought he was gonna come home from Beijing with the gold medal. And unfortunately for Kyle, he went down in one of the qualifying rounds, dislocated his shoulder. The riders are up on the gate getting ready for the first quarterfinal, but earlier, Mike Redman caught up with the Olympians. Started to pick things up through the day. You're the top qualifier in your heat. What's it gonna take in the quarter main event? Oh, you know, it's gonna take what it takes in BMX. That's his, um, it's getting to the first turn first. You know, it's, uh, it's Easy, easier to, to handle the outcome, you know, when you're when you're going in that first turn first, and you know you got to have that uh, unshatterable uh, belief that you're going to succeed. So that's what it always takes in BMX. Uh, I feel pretty good after the motos. Got the quarters coming up, top four. So just trying to stay consistent, you know, top four through there. Hopefully get into the semis, do the same, and then let it all out in the main. That's the plan. But got to get through the quarters first. In round number one, you come out top qualifier going into the quarters. Any strategy out on the track? No, just uh, stay up, you know, top four. I just kind of keep the top four top four in the back of the head. You know. well, you know, once I get to the main, it'll be a different story. Right, how's the track holding up out there for you? The track's real fun, you know, there's a lot of jumps. Uh, we got a pro section and a rhythm section, which is kind of something new, so uh, track, track's really fun. The heats are all over. Your top qualifier out of your heat, Christian. Going into the quarters, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Um, took a rest in the thermometer, so hopefully um, I can put it together for the quarters. Well, here is our first quarter final. There's going to be some grunt work off the gate. There you see Kyle Bennett, Sweet. Donnie Robinson, Steven Cesar from Sweden, Yvonne Lapraz. This is an international event. UCI points at stake. Kenan, when I was racing, UCI points didn't mean much at all, but that was long before the Olympics became a factor. Keep your eye on Bradford in the blue and white. What a snap he's got out of that gate as they come trucking down that first straight. But look at this, Craig. It's going to be Bennett getting to that first turn. Yeah, Bradford got a pop, but coming from lane one was Kyle Bennett. And right now, you've got some Olympians to contend with. Kyle Bennett, Donnie Robinson on the inside, and Bradford, and then look at Barry Nobles diving down. So Bennett in the lead, there is Donnie Robinson, the number 10 plate, but how about LaPraz trying to make a move in fourth place, overtaking Bradford, he runs out of gas. Hey, but Bradford makes a dive in the last Oh, he gets him back. Nice to secure his position into that semi. What an incredible race from Bradford, just doing as much as he can, and he is going to be heading to the semifinals as well as Kyle Bennett, Donnie Robinson, and Barry Nobles. Quarterfinal number two. The riders are on the gate, and there are plenty of veterans here. Jason Rogers, and down there, the third one from the top is Mikey Day, number 365, silver medalist from the Beijing Games last year. Now, he's got that 365 because he is BMX all year long. Now it's all about getting the top four. The top four will advance into the semis, and there is Mike Day, and he gets himself into that whole shot. Yeah, if it's one knock on Mikey Day, it's his start isn't that good, but once this guy gets out on the track, he is incredibly fast. The number 365 silver medalist of Mike Day from the Beijing Olympics. He is in the blue and white on that GT bicycle, and he is just screaming through these rhythm sections. He can actually increase his speed without pedaling. A sign of a great rider doesn't mean how fast you beat down the first straight, but the rest of your track speed as well. Another sign of a great rider, silver medal at the Beijing Games, and Osrada almost takes out our cameraman. Take it easy. Wow, all right. Mikey Day will be moving on along with Joshua Myers, Jason Rogers, and Jared Collin. And here is quarterfinal number three. And there is Christian Bessarene in the red and black jersey. He has been just dominating the straight all day long. Also in this race, Tyler Brown, 316 on the plate. A very fast young American rider. 
And last year it didn't have a sponsor. Now he's in the green and white leathers, third from the right. Bessarini on the left-hand side of the screen. Look at him trucking. He's making it. But no, it's going to be Brown into that first straight. Brown got some pull down the first straight right there, man. That was awesome. Fantastic start. Bessarini met bobbled a little bit going into the first turn. But a guy who's really good and young, Jeffrey Upshaw, back in fourth place. Right, and he is going to make that transfer spot as long as he can hold on to that fourth place position. Only the top four will advance to the semis. Right now, Brown getting things done on the rhythm section. Not faltering, looking like a seasoned professional as he crosses the line. When I first met him two years ago, he's racing in jeans. Great to see he's got a ride. So here's how it breaks down. Brown, Bessarini, Upshaw, and Dennison Smith are all moving on along, and so are we, looking at Nick Long. Nick, a very capable young rider. He's no stranger to the top of the podium, and there is Kalen Young from Down Under in Australia, but he's not alone in the Southern Hemisphere as far as BMX. Mark Willers is from New Zealand. Now Young, very powerful, but known to go down hard as well. He is in the yellow and black on the right-hand side of your screen. Watch this gate drop and watch his legs start to pump. You don't want to bang bars with Kalen Young. Nick Long also on the inside, but in the lead, it's going to be Mark Willers, the triple seven, the threat from New Zealand. Now Look this at is that. a tight lap right here. You've got Randy Stumphauser in fifth place right now. The Wiley veteran, he's going to try to make as many moves as he can to get past David Herman and Kalen Young. You know, these guys are going quick, but Randy, he's got a lot up his sleeves. Definitely, he certainly does have that experience oh, right that now. Oh, that was a tight fit. Whoa, definitely was threading a needle. It's going to be... In the line, it's... Uh, Stumpy oh. just misses out. That is a heartbreak, but Olympian Mark Willers will be moving along as well as Nick Long, but check this out. This is what Craig was getting all excited about. Look at the photo finish, so close. Young edges out Stumpy by a knobby and so moves along as well as Mark Willers and Nick Long and the Herminator. Now don't go anywhere because the women's main event is coming up right after the break. You're watching the American Bicycle Association's UCI North American Continental Series. Brought to you by Hyper Bicycles. Check them out at hyperbicycles.com and by goto11.com. Click to play. Back here for some more ABA BMX racing in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The track is perfect, and Hyper Bicycles has given us this awesome graphic to see what the riders are going to be dealing with. Craig. Ken, this is one of the cool things about building a track. They come in, and it's a different design every time. Coming out of the first turn, you've got the pro section to the right. Amateurs go left, and then right after that, you've got a tight technical rhythm section. And that section is definitely going to be separating the riders that really focus on their skills rather than speed. Now it's time for our first main event, the women. Elise Post and Dominique Daniels have been battling it out all day long. These two women are very capable, and we send Mike Redmond to find out what's on their minds. You know, you got to get through everything clean. Haven't had a quite clean race yet today, so hopefully in the main that'll come through all the practice and whatnot, and then just got to hold your lines. You know, it's going to be tough. Everybody's out there. You know, everyone's going for the win. Um, it's going to take a lot of determination. It's going to take a lot of skill. It's going to take just basic relaxation. Got to get that mindset. That's what I gotta do. Dominique Daniels was a favorite today, but she had a scare in her qualifying round. You know, the riding style is a little bit different than the men, obviously, but they are just as fast in their own right. And look at her lead. Dominique is just crushing them right now. You know, it's, the same, it's the same principle, though. They're pumping the back sides of the jumps, trying to run as smooth of a lap as you possibly can and to stay off the ground. But she had that problem right there in the final turn. Those are the worst kinds of crashes when you hit and stick and you don't disperse all that energy. Luckily, Dominique got up, won her final two rounds to qualify into the main. Well, the day is about to wind up for these women. This is the main event, and Craig, very talented young ladies on the skate, starting things off with Stephanie Barrigan. She rides for the USA, number 13 on that number plate. Next up next to her is Crystal Hine. She's rocking the 40. Keep an eye on her from Canada, Danielle Brisson, number 44. And next to her is Elise Post, the lady we just spoke with a minute ago. Let's see if she can get the gate that she needs. And Dominique Daniels next to her. There's a number one on her plate, and for good reason. Now Elise and her have been battling all day long. And there is the veteran, Ariel Martin, the oldest woman on that gate, and certainly one of the fastest, Craig. Yeah, I remember watching these women race through the qualifiers and the semis and the main events, and they were some of the greatest races that we used to see when I was still racing. 
Well, you know, they take a lot of chances. They just go for it. Ariel Martin is up there. She's plate number 15. This is the main finals. The gate has dropped. The women are off. And watch out because the number one plate, the black jersey, that is going to be Dominic Daniels trying to make the move. But no, Elise Post gets the better of her, at least for now. And wow, look at them negotiating the women's section here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. You know, there's no difference between what the men are doing on this track as well as the women. They're going just as fast. But wait, a big move, Craig. Sorry to cut you off. we got to stop you. Look at the number one plate, Dominique Daniels. She gets the high-low on Elise Post, and now she is in the lead. You know, Dominique puts in a classic move in the second turn. She dives down low, swings back in front of Elise. Elise has no chance once that block pass has been made. Dominique Daniels gets the top spot. Elise Post will have to settle for second. Now let's go back right here. She dives down in the second turn. As soon as she gets to the tabletop, she turns left, cutting off Elise Post. Once that happens, Elise has nowhere to go but tuck in behind her. And as we've seen so many times before, the race isn't necessarily won off the gate. So congratulations, Dominique Daniels. Elise Post gets second place, and Stephanie Barrigan brings up third. Now when we come back, we'll be watching some Elite Men semifinal action. Don't go anywhere. Back in the Lazy E Arena in Guthrie, Oklahoma for the semifinals. The men's elite, you're looking at Olympian Mike Day, but he is not the only Olympian in the semifinal. We also have bronze medalist Donnie Robinson and Kyle Bennett. Didn't medal in Beijing, but he is here today. Now, all three of these Olympians are next to each other on the gate, so you can imagine the tenacity and the ferocity that they'll be excelling with. But they also have to contend with Barry Nobles and Jason Rogers. There they are, number 10, 365, and there in the red is Kyle Bennett as they get the snap. The number 88 plate looks like he's gonna be in the lead as he makes it to the first turn, followed closely by Bennett, and it looks like Bradford in third. And look out for Mikey Day. Mikey Day right now is not in a qualifying position. Back in fifth, kind of bobbled out of the turn. But right now it's Bennett, Robinson, Bradford. And a move by Tyler Brown, but but watch out because we're getting into the rhythm section and the afterburners are on to the left-hand side of your screen in the blue and white. Number 365, Mike Day puts it on and he's now fighting. He is in third place. Mikey Look Day. Mikey Day from fifth to third in one straightaway, Kenny. Just an insane race. Unfortunately for Barry Nobles, he's not going to make that main, but three Olympians are, as well as Jared Collick. Now you got Bennett, you got Day, and you got Donnie Robinson. This is going to be some main. These are the first group to head on through. Let's see what they had to say. Kyle Bennett, you got a hot lap coming up. What's it going to take to take the victory? Um, like always, definitely a good, clean start. Try and get to that first turn first. Um, and hopefully, uh, if I do that, just control the race from there and uh, bring home the victory. But it's going to be tough, man. All the guys in the main are going fast, and we all deserve to be there. So it should be a good race. Well, I feel good out there. You know, not great, but good. Uh, I think enough to give these guys a run. But, you know, you just, you just go out there and have fun and, you know, be thankful that, that we get a chance to go out there and do this uh, great sport. And we're just going to put, put a show on there. Got a lot of competition out there. How's it stacking up? Yeah, I mean, you know, the eight fastest seeds. So hopefully all I can wish for is a good start and then uh, kind of work my way through the pack. Uh, it's going to take a very, very strong first straight. Uh, first straight's pretty short and uh, inside definitely probably has an advantage. So just a clean, clean pop and get out of that first corner up front. Semi-final number two filled with very talented riders. There's David Herman, Christian Bessarene. He's from Argentina but lives in Southern California right there in yellow and black looking like a bumblebee. Kalen Young, you don't want to get stung by that guy, let me tell you. Top four are going to make it to the main event and join our Olympians. You also have Tyler Brown and Mark Willers rounding out a very tough heat. Here we are. The gate's dropping. And look on the right hand side of your screen. Man, it's Kalen Young. And airing it, looks like it's going to be Bessarini in the red, right next to Kenny Long. You know, Kalen Young had a nice line going into that first turn. Almost Bessarini, it was almost high siding on his tire. But, you know, just like a lot of the other Australians, Kalen Young is fast, man. <laughs> Definitely fast. You don't want to bang bars with him. He may be a little short, but he is stocky, and he's not afraid to take up valuable real estate on that track. It's almost two races. You got Young way out in the lead, and then there is Bessarini in second. Whoa, and tight a real in the line. tight one. Tight at the line between Willers and Dennis and Smith. Let's go back and check it out. Dennison gets a good pump, but not even. Just barely misses it out right there. 
So you got Young, Bessereni, Nick Long, and Mark Willers. What a race this main is going to be. Let's hear from them. Tell us what it's going to take to put down a hot lap. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to uh, just relax on the gate and just get out and step. I mean, everyone's pretty quick these days. It's just whoever gets the first three pedals. So, and we're just going to try try ride a clean lap and walk away with it. I said before, you know, you have to try to be consistent and smooth. It's going to be the key, you know, because uh, if you get out front and you mess up, those guys just blew by you. So, hopefully, I can get a good gate and uh, keep the lap clean. It's going to be hard for sure. I, inside's where you're praying for it. It don't matter really today who who has. Outside, if you're the fastest, I don't think you're going to win if you got outside. But so I'm just looking to try to get in the first turn, top four. All right, down here with Mark Willers, part of that foreign invasion here for the UCI scene. Tell us what it's going to take to take a hot lap in the final. Just get out and get a good start. And then I threw a lucky elbow in that second turn in that quarter and it paid off and just going to keep a lap together. And I think, I mean, there's going to be some bars banging down that first straight. Now up on the gate, it is the main finals for the junior elite men, the future of the sport. Mike Redmond caught up with them. What are you going to do out on the track differently here in the final? Well, I'm out in eight in the final, so I'm just going to try and get out and get to the inside. Don't get put up too high in the first turn to see what I can do. Everyone on a level playing field, just got to relax, take the nerves away. Let all the butterflies fly the same way and you have a good lap, you know, just stay smooth. I just got to get a good gate start, get out of the middle, get in that first turn first and just go on from there. Lots of big guys in there, so being one of the little guys, just got to hold my ground. Probably uh, magically pull a slingshot out of that gate, that random gate, you know, that would be nice. Oh, it's going to take a great gate and uh, just charging way through the pro section. A uh, good first straight would be nice, good gate, and just stay smooth around the track. It's going to take some uh, some good first straight and uh, get around that first turn on that red line. Uh, that's about it. So you've met the riders. Now let's watch them race. This is the junior's main event. The Canuck from Canada, Tori Nyhog. Next to him is Sean Lechner, a very capable rookie. All these guys, though, basically have to get that confidence. Jordan Seward, he is in lane number three. And when you talk about confidence, there is the rider that has it, Denzel Stein. You can just see a quiet comfort on that gate. Next to him, Nicholas Benetti from Canada, showing you the international feel, even in the junior elites. Riley Stair, number 67 on the plate from the United States. And here is Elliot McGrath. Number 94, he's way out there towards the outside, but no one is further outside than Connor Fields. Now, Connor Fields, a very strong rider with a lot of technical proficiency. Now, lane eight, it's pretty tough to get over because the first straight is so short, so you don't have a lot of time to get over and get in front of these guys. To get in front of them, you're gonna have to get a perfect start. Well, we're about to get the start underway. This is the Junior Elite Men's Main Event. And they are underway. And how about it? Denzel Stein, this man is 205 pounds and he is out in the lead. Hold on, but take a look at Connor Fields. Guy comes from lane eight and over, over oh, jumps well, and goes, oh. Goes OTB or over the bars. He is in second place in the red. Connor Fields does a fantastic job of getting himself into second place. And to be perfectly honest, looks like he's making he's a move He's charging, down. right now he's charging. Denzel doesn't even see him coming. Take a look at this, he's on diving. Outside, oh, oh, he loses it. Some oh, he gets some trifical on that berm and loses <laughs> traction. Oh, unfortunate for Connor Fields. Take a look at this one more time. Denzel doesn't see him coming. He is charging down that straightaway. He puts it in there in the last turn, but he doesn't make it stick. Yeah, definitely not. The rubber goes away. So the big boy, Denzel Stein, is in the top spot. Tori Nyhog in second. Riley Stair is in third. We'll talk to Denzel in just a little bit, but more importantly, the men's main event is right after the break. Don't go anywhere. The American Bicycle Association's UCI North American Continental Series has been brought to you by Hyper Bicycles. Check them out at hyperbicycle.com and go to 11.com. Push to play. We're back here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. As you can see, the elite men are ready to race, but first we're gonna hear from our junior winner, Denzel Stein. Denzel Stein, you took the victory out there in the junior elite men's final. You had a little bit of heat in the last turn. Tell us about the lap. Oh man, Connor Fields gave me a little heat going around the last corner, but uh, he has much respect for me. He's a he's a fast up and coming. And he's he's on his way to the top, and he uh, uh, like 150 pounds versus 205. So you know he he tried, but you know in the end he fell down. But he has a lot of respect for me. 
Bible. We have a lot of respect for these men up on the gate. It is the Elite Men main event, and there are a lot of Olympians up there right now, starting things off with this man from Argentina, Christian Bessarene. And next to him, Kyle Bennett has been dominating all day long. We saw him in Beijing. He went down, unfortunately. Jared College, a younger rider, but is making a name for himself on the tour. And from Australia, Kaylin Young, getting it done all day. Biceps, legs, don't want to be around him when you're on that gate. Mikey Day, third Olympian on the gate, silver medalist, how's that? And here is Nicholas Long. Nick Long recently won a UCI event in Salt Lake City. Donnie Robinson, bronze medalist from the Beijing Games where BMX Racing made its debut. And next to him, another Olympian for New Zealand. This is Mark Willers. There are the men, the eight men that will be doing battle right now. Craig, it is anyone's game, but if it was me to call, I'd say Bennett's looking the best. He's hands down looked the best all day. And there he is, left-hand side of the screen. And he is underway in the red, oh, trying to pull away. And he's got that whole shot again. It's underway, but next to him is Mike Day. What's he doing? Now, this is the battle we've been looking for all day. These guys said they're going to open it up for the man. Day and gets sure it. Enough. Day gets it. 365 in the blue. Takes wow. over the lead. Now, this is the first time Bennett's been in second. See if he's got anything for Day down this rhythm section. Very hard to do through the rhythm section, especially if Mike Day is in front of you. He is so confident through those whoops. Absolutely. Look, this is a great train of elite men. All right. And Kayla Young bringing up third place. Wow. What a battle, Mikey Day takes it all the way down to the wire. Second place, Kyle Bennett and Kaylin Young from Australia is in third. Right now we're heading on over with Mike Redman, who's got Mikey. You took the victory out there, the GT was ripping, Michael. I don't know what it was, I had a, I had a great start and uh, you know, if I knew I would come out of the first corner top three, I'd, I'd have a good chance at winning this. Came out of the first corner and I saw him going to the left, so I, uh, I kind of darted inside and uh, you know, I hit that first jump. I, I, I hit it perfect and then I was able to get a couple good cranks in between and, uh, and I got by him pretty safely. All right, well, the crowd was behind you. Congratulations on a great win here today, Mike. Cool, thanks a lot. Well, the sun goes down on a very exciting day of BMX racing. For Craig Reynolds and Mike Redman, I'm Kenan Harkin. We'll see you next time for some more BMX racing.